Balloons TD6 is one of the most popular tower defense games out there. But did you know there are some hidden features and facts that the, even the most dedicated players may not know about? Let's take a look at six things you didn't know about Balloons TD6. Monkey Knowledge Secrets Monkey Knowledge is beyond OP. You can add many boosts and buffs from getting a free monkey to start out the game, or even getting two Tier 5 Crossbow Masters. If you're able to play Chimps mode on <clears throat> any maps, excuse me, MK is disabled, which is why this mode is just so hard to beat. I just recently put out a 2TC video beating Chimps on Resort with only two towers. If you do this, you will get a Chimps medal, and you will also gain two Monkey Knowledge as well to put towards those buffs. The ways to gain Monkey Knowledge include challenges, leveling up in BTD, and other ways that may come with events, bosses, and much more. Sniper monkeys are the most slept on monkey, in my opinion, in the entire game. These monkeys can handle almost any expert map, I think every expert map, with just a 402 and a 024 sniper. These can handle camo balloons, mobs, and more. Use these in your strat to slow down mobs, BFBs, by using the top path, main mob, or cripple mob, and pair that with the bottom path with faster shooting. The bottom path is insane for balloon popping power. At tier 5, the attack speed and damage increases the farther the balloons go down the track, while the middle path will ensure elite targeting and give you some cash drops for extra farming. If you do not know what elite targeting does, I have a video explaining it clearly, and I'll put the link to that video in the description. Did you know there are secret easter eggs hidden throughout the game? These can range from pop culture references to nods to other games, and finding them all can be a challenge for dedicated players. One of the most well-known easter eggs is if you put a motor tower on the ice map, and if you keep shooting him, you'll get an extra monkey that will help, um, you know, take those balloons down. Next, did you know that Balloons TD has a built-in level editor? This means that players can create and share their own custom levels with their community, allowing for endless replayability. If you guys have any custom levels or any challenges that you would like to see me perform or, you know, do, just throw them in the comment section down below or even join the Discord and go to the balloon section and send them in there. Discord link will be in the description. In addition, Balloons TD6 features a co-op mode, allowing players to team up and take on balloons together. This can make for some intense and exciting gameplays for regular maps, bosses, and much more. If you guys like to play co-op, I do play with viewers live on stream. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on any of those playing with viewer live streams. And finally, did you know that Balloons TD6 has a huge number of towers and upgrades to choose from? Each one has its own unique abilities and strengths from the top, middle, and bottom paths. So players can experiment and find the perfect combination to take on the balloons. And this is what I personally believe makes balloons so fun, as you can beat the game in so many endless variety different ways, and finding a new way to beat a map is so fun and exhilarating. I just truly love it. So there you have it, six things you didn't know about Bloons TD6. Who knows, maybe you'll discover even more hidden features and secrets as you play. Until next time, Paddle Thumbs out.